Hello and welcome to a one r Psychic Radio. Um, now, I am by the river um, in Savannah and so I found a little quiet corner to, to talk to you uh, uh, this afternoon because uh, um, I'm actually in sort of the local time of the, of the radio station, which is, which is great because normally I'm, it's about 8 o'clock in the evening for me. Um, but anyway, I, um, before we connect to some wonderful callers, I was actually thinking um, about what I was going to, uh, oh, I was looking to be inspired by the spirit world, should I say. I don't do much thinking. I try and get the, the spirit world to do the thinking for me. And they were sort of, you know, talking to me about um, the importance of free will. And, you know, I... I think what's so incredible about free will is is we on this journey in this life we've been given this gift and it's a gift from God and and this gift is that we have free will that we don't have to um, be controlled in any way or to um, you know by, by by the powers that be in the spirit world we, we are we are we can make our own minds up about things and we can have our own decisions. Um, and we can make our own choices. And, you know, the thing with free will is that there, are, there will be people that make the wrong choices. And there will be people that, that go a, 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 along a path that perhaps wouldn't have been the best path for them. But what I would like to say is that um, this, is, this is a gift that's been given to, to, to us. Now... When I'm doing my readings, now this is something that's really interesting. When I'm doing my readings, I generally get uh, from the spirit world, I get um, either this is, you know, this is somebody's free will, but if they go along this path, this is what's going to happen. Or I get this is set in stone. In other words, it's all, your free will has already been established and the path is already in motion and you're going along it. Um, and so I'm, I'm sort of told to, you know, one or, or, or the other. But I think that's quite interesting, actually, because they do respect our free will and do respect our, our need to implement life in the way that we want. And one of the things that, that I do as, as a medium is I put, um, I, I put the, uh, I put, Put my I, I do healing every every day, and I sit for an hour on with healing. And so, if anybody's listening and are connected to the A One R psychic page, you know, just just mention that you'd like healing, and I put you on the list. But you know, one of the things that the spirit world asked me to do, uh, which I thought was really fascinating, really interesting, is they said, please send healing to all those people that are, in other words, all those people that have had a life, have gone back to the spirit world and haven't succeeded in what they intended to do. And so it got me sort of thinking, actually. It got me to thinking that, you know, for some people, they will make mistakes in their life, which detracts them from what they originally wanted to do. They wanted to sort of grow and evolve. And sometimes people don't always succeed in that lifetime. And... Um, I can only imagine that they would end up having to do another one to, to, to eventually get it get it right. Um, but, you know, and I think that's sort of quite sad. So I think, you know, in life, if we can think about, you know, what is the right way and what is the wrong way, then I think we stand more of a chance of being successful in this life that has been given to us by God. Anyway, I believe that I have a caller waiting to speak to me, and that is Angela in Blytheville, Arkansas. Are you there, Angela? Yes, I am. And how are you today? Yeah, it's so slow and a lot of pain. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and if you like, I can put you on my healing list um, because I send healing now every day, and, and we can do that for you. Would that be something you'd be interested in? I would appreciate it. Okay, brilliant. Now, um, I'm, I'm a medium, and so I can connect to loved ones that you know that are in the spirit world, or I can actually um, speak to my guides and get guidance. Is there a particular way that you would like me to work, and where would you like me to focus? Um, the spirit world. The spirit world. And 
who would you like me to connect to? My mother. Your mother. Um, okay, then just give me a moment and I'm just sitting, um, connecting to her. Okay. Um, I'm being told that she was quite um, an, an attractive woman. Would that make sense to you? Probably yeah. in her young years. I'm being told that she's very attractive, and I and, and I'm being told that she would always try and make the best of herself, and and you know, and I feel like she she liked to wear lipstick as well, uh, uh, you know, and I'm being shown a sort of a pinkish, sort of quite a yeah. quite a strong pink colour lipstick that would have been it's almost yeah. like her signature colour. You know, she you, you you always when you think of that colour of lipstick, you I'm sure you would think of, of your mum. Mm -hmm. and, like a pearl, like a pearl, like a pearl, or pearl, or black hair, and then with a black hair, and then with a black hair. Yeah. Um, and, I, and, I, and I just get the feeling that, that she, was, she was somebody that was quite sort of, um, I'm guessing a whole load of qualities about her all at once, so just bear with me. I feel that she's quite savvy. She's quite sort of, um, she's quite sort of knows what's going on and, and what's what's happening around her um oh, but, yeah. I, I also think, I, but i also feel with her that coupled with that she was an incredibly caring person and i feel that um she, she's making me feel like she would um almost like i know this is an expression so i'm not expecting her to sort of literally do that but i, I she makes me feel as though she would lay down her life for her family and and sort of to help them and support them. Would you understand that about oh, her? Yeah. yeah. Um, and she's she suddenly put a toothbrush and and toothpaste in my hand and and cleaning my teeth. Um, and mm. I, I'm I'm assuming that that's something to either to do with a memory link with her, or she's talking about the need to sort of look after your teeth yourself. Would that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Um, and, yeah, um, I think um, I think she she makes me feel as though she took great pride in her teeth and 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 thought it was quite an important thing to to sort of look after. And she's and she's yeah, also she talking she to me. Pardon? I said yes, she did. And she's also um, she's she's telling me that she has some grandchildren. Would you understand that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, there's two. There's two, two grandchildren, did you say? Yes. Okay. Um, I thought I was going mad for a moment. I thought you said no. Because <laughs> I didn't no, know. I know. Yeah, yeah. She does. She does, yeah. great. Um, and, and, she's, and she's saying to me that um, uh, one of them, I... And I don't know whether it's both of them, but she's drawing my attention to one of them. But she's saying that one of them is like full of fun and laughter and makes everyone laugh. Um, like a great sense of humor and a great sort of personality. Um, would you understand that about uh, about one of yeah, her grandchildren? Oh, yeah. And, and she's <laughs> and I think and she's saying that this 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 grandchild could almost be a comedian. Um, <laughs> Just, just like so, you know, could, could do this for a living because it's so funny. Um, and she, yeah. and she's just sort of, she's just talking about how, how, how proud she is of, of the of the grandchild for being so funny. Um, yeah, she's very funny. She loves to laugh. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's she's wanting to. Um, she heard me talk about um, giving you healing, and she's. She's saying to me that she wants to be involved with the healing for you. Um, and she says that when I sit for healing, she's going to make a point of coming around me and, and helping me send healing to you. Um, because yeah, she she's, she's that, very intuitive um, as well. Right, right. Okay. Well, you see, I've never had somebody say that to me before. So that's why that would make sense why she's, why she's saying that. Because um, she says... She's saying that she wants to be actively involved, and, and so she's going to sort of like use my energy and her energy together to 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 send sort of healing to you. 
she's also placing crystals in my hands um and i feel that um um she would have uh, liked crystals as well i actually just got some crystals <laughs> right okay so you understand what she means about crystals um and she's yeah, also, she used she's to carry a, 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 the white the clear one with her all the time okay. Right. Okay. The, what you mean that the, the quartz one? Yeah, the quartz. Um, yes. Yeah. Well, one of the ones that she's giving to me, she's just given me, is um, a, a rose quartz crystal, and she's oh wanting God. to hand that to you. And she's making me feel that it's an expression of her love for you. Um, oh my God. I, I have a rose quartz rock. I have a rose um, quartz uh, uh, gemstone that I just got. Oh right, okay. Um, because I feel I feel like maybe that's her way of, of letting me know that she, she knew you had that and just got that because she was handing me a rose quartz and giving it to you. Um, she's telling me um, now. This is interesting. She's telling me that she's met um, and and she's um, she says you wouldn't believe how fascinating it is over here. Um, and she's rather excited about about telling you this information. Um, she's also talking about um, now there was a problem with um, I think it's either her house where she was living or or a, a, a house. And I feel like it's there's a house. I don't. I think it may have been her house. It's maybe I, I, maybe a memory. But I get this feeling that there was some sort of difficulty of um, like having to clear it all out and get rid of the stuff um, because there was a lot of stuff. Would you understand that? Yeah. The house um, she died in. Pardon? The house she died in. Yes. And, and I feel like there was a lot of stuff because um, I feel like she, and, and, and I feel like she's, She's rather sorry that, that there was so much stuff and so much work to do um, because she doesn't like to be a burden on anybody. Um, I feel that she's, she's got that sort of, you know, way about her. Um, yes, she never, she, she didn't like being a burden at all. No, no, not at all. And, and she certainly doesn't like being a burden in her death either. Um, <laughs> she's, she's promising me that she's going to be around you in your, um, you know, to give you healing. She's absolutely promising me that. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm, I feel really excited about about her commitment to get to give you healing. I, um, oh, she's saying to me that she's being enlisted on a team in the spirit world, and part of her role um, in the spirit world is is to do to do healing and send healing to. Um, and I feel like there's some particular illness that she would have an interest in that from the spirit world. <laughs> it's uh, my papa, but he was like a dad. Uh, your grandfather, he was like a dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that, that would make sense then, because sometimes as mediums, we can slightly make mistakes when, it, when they are like mm -hmm. a dad. But, but I... I I, I just get, I can just feel him sort of drawing close with me. Um, okay. And I just get this feeling of, of sickness um, and sort of, uh, and, and going quite thin as he got to the end of his life. Would you understand that about him? Mm-hmm. Because um, I feel that yes, there was, I feel that he had sort of cancer um, uh, as, 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 a, as an illness, but I just feel um, all around the sort of, the, the, the the sort of upper part of the body is is particularly. Um, I, I don't know whether I'm mm -hmm. feeling that because of the sickness, but I'm feeling particularly around the upper part of the body. Um, would you understand that? Yes, he had um, his lobe was septic there at the end. That's what he died from. Right from infections, um, and it turned his whole body septic. Right. Yes, because I. I I, I just get, I just can just feel that sort of weakness in it, in his body. Um, and he's, he's, he's talking about, he wants to talk about um, the, the old days and um, 
did you ever go somewhere where there was like a Mardi Gras or uh, like a parade going through the streets or something like that? We have we have parades here in Portageville once a year. Right. Okay. Because he's that's what he's, showing me. that's what he's showing me. Um, and and obviously because I'm not from Missouri or the United States, I wouldn't know that. Um, but but it, yes, he was showing me that as a memory link. And and I feel that he's just show he's just put in my hand a spanner, and I'm sorting something out on the float. So I feel that that. He, the reason why he possibly is showing that to me is that he is showing that to me because he he was involved in some of the floats and 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 getting it all sort of straight. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. Um. Because and and I feel that that gave him quite a lot of joy and um and also it's like I'm seeing you as a little girl and he's putting his hands underneath your arms and lifting you up. And putting you on a float, and I feel like you're all dressed up, in, and you're a really like a little clown. girl. You're you're <laughs> tiny. I was a clown. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh. And the, and he's yeah. just remembering this, this this. Oh wow! And I I I I just get this feeling that 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 he this was just such a a happy memory um for for you, and and I think also. He's showing me sort of walking behind floats as well. So I feel that there may have been mm -hmm. times when you would have been walking behind the floats, like a, a, a sort of like like a march, like girl sort of walking and, and um, baton and, and stuff. I did that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's remembering that. He's he's suddenly showing me kissing you on the cheek. Um, so I and I feel and he's making me feel as though he's doing that right now and and he's saying to me that um oh dear he, he's saying to me that he wishes that he was here because if he was here he would be able to support you because he says that your emotions are going up and down up and down and and he says that that it's like he's holding out my hands and putting them out and, and he's making me feel as though as I hold out my hands, um, there's like heavy burdens on, on your hands. It's, mm -hmm. it, and, and, he's, and he's making me feel as though there isn't enough people or people around you to really properly support you in what you're going through. He's making me feel as though you're going through everything alone. And, and he's saying to me that if he was here, he would be supporting you and he would be you know, um, like cuddling you and, 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 and talking mm -hmm. to you because he had an enormous love for you and, and that's never gone away. No, 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 it hasn't. He's just, he absolutely adores you. And he's, and he's saying to me, you were like the daughter. Um, and I don't know if he, if the daughter that he never had, or, you know, there's something, in other words, what he's saying to me is, that you were very special to him, extremely special to him. And he's saying to me that, that when, uh, when he passed, this was a very, very difficult um, passing for you to deal with because he was somebody that you were able to sort of rely upon and, 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 and lean on when you needed help or, or support. And, and he's saying yeah. to me that, um, um, he says, although I'm over here, he does as much as he possibly can to support you. And, and he says, particularly now, because you, you really, really need a lot of support and a lot of love. Um, he absolutely cherishes you. Um, and he's talking about a birthday. Um, now, let me see. I, I feel that it, is there is there a birthday in your family round about now or coming up? Um, my my daughters were March eighth and tenth, and my nieces is May twenty sixth. Right. Oh, it's it's quite moving when you have a a, a spiritual connection, isn't it? Um, especially with somebody yeah. that you love. Um, and, I, and I can understand that, um, but I just get this, 
I just get so with with your daughter, did you have a special party or or celebration with one of your daughters? We had a we did their party together this year. Yes, because he's that's what he's talking about, and he's saying that he was there, and I feel that it was you went out somewhere. You weren't in the home celebrating. You were out, and it feels like um, so. It was like a little party out somewhere. Would you would you remember that? Yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> um, he's saying that um, I, I've only got a few seconds left, so I'm just going to sort of really. Um, um, really get get the the essence of what he wants to say through to you and the essence of what he wants to say to you is um karina uh, um did he ever call you car car or shorten your name or something car car yeah because i feel like he wants to shorten your name um and he's saying to me um no matter what I am here to help you and support you.